Hello, this is Sally Andrews, and welcome to the Asia edition of TDTV. Singapore Airlines will replace the Rolls Royce engines on three of its 11 A380 aircraft after they were found to be faulty. As a result, the airline has been forced to remove its super jumbos on flights from Singapore to Sydney and Melbourne until the 17th of November. The flights will now be operated by either Boeing 747s or Boeing 777s. The airline said it was also planning to mount additional flights between Sydney and Melbourne to cater for the shortfall in capacity. Meanwhile, engine maker Rolls-Royce has recommended further inspections on the Trent 900 engines used on the A380s. However, the company maintains that the issue was unrelated to the recent problems experienced by the Qantas A380 Trent engines. The Australian carrier 6 A380s have been grounded since last week when one of its engines exploded shortly after departing Singapore, scattering debris over the Indonesian island of Batam. Qantas has since updated the flight schedule for its international network after it was forced to reshuffle its fleet distribution on various routes. Qantas is continuing its inspection program on all Rolls-Royce engines in its A380 fleet, although no date has been confirmed for their re-entry into service. As Rolls-Royce rides the turbulence, the Boeing Dreamliner saga continues with yet another setback after one of its fleet lost electrical power during a test flight on Wednesday. The incident occurred as the test aircraft approached to land in Texas and was caused by an onboard electrical fire. Although the pilots were able to land the plane safely, Boeing has been forced to ground its test fleet as it investigates the cause of the fire. The Dreamliner program has been beset by numerous problems since its inception. Most recently, the delivery of its first aircraft to ANA was postponed to the middle of May next year after a problem with its Rolls-Royce engine. As the airlines suffer, the hotel business in Australia is actually picking up according to a survey by Best Western. Corporate clients and families were among the top market segments returning to hotels and motels over the past six months while the average length of stay increased along with spending on accommodation. Online bookings for Best Western surged 65% in the last month alone, demonstrating increasing numbers of Australians are purchasing travel online. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the Asia edition of TDTV. We'll see you again next week.